In 2017, a five interception game will earn you ridicule, a benching, and probably years of therapy to forget. But if you think a five interception game feels shitty, just imagine the world of sadness that Jim Hardy was in when he threw a stunning eight interceptions in one game. September 24, 1950. It's a crisp fall morning on Chicago's south side where the Chicago Cardinals are about to face off against the Philadelphia Eagles at guaranteed rate, I mean Kaminsky Park. Jim Hardy, Chicago's starting quarterback, is driving himself to the field with a couple of teammates when, wham, car accident. Hardy's teammates take a cab to the park, but Hardy is forced to stay back and file a police report. When he finally arrives at the stadium, the game is about to kick off, so he hops behind center without a second to spare for a warm-up. Cardinals head coach Curly Lambeau, yes, that Lambeau, known for being one of the most eminent head coaches of all time, started Hardy anyway, and that's when the interceptions began. One after another, after another, after another. At halftime, Hardy had thrown three interceptions and Lambeau knew he had to make a change. Jim, I'm sorry, but I have to put old Frank here in the game. Lambeau had had enough. Frank Chapuca went into the game for Hardy, but three plays later, injured his knee and Hardy was back in the game. And he threw another interception. And another. And another. And another. Hardy threw eight total interceptions. He later said after the game he wished he was a mole so that he could burrow through the ground and out of the stadium. If you feel bad for Hardy, well, you should. His performance that day was so horrible, cringeworthy, and pathetic that you can still feel the shame 70 years later. Somehow, he redeemed himself the next week when he scored six touchdowns and almost broke the NFL record for touchdown passes in a game when the seventh was dropped by a receiver in the end zone. He even made the Pro Bowl that year. The next time you feel ashamed of yourself at work, just know that at least you aren't Jim Hardy on the day he threw eight interceptions. Man, can't you just feel the shame? Like and subscribe.